Okay, y'all, important question. If I kiss a frog, do I get a princess or do I get warts? Asking for a friend. Hey everyone, Trace here for D News. Thanks for tuning in. This week's viewer question comes from Caitlin Willex Payne who wants to know how slash why do warts form? Chances are you have heard people say, I love my friend, warts and all. A wart on the chin is the devil within. Maybe you haven't heard that one. Warts get a bad rap. They're associated with frogs and witches and thought to begat from having mean dispositions, washing hands in water where eggs were boiled, slaughtering a frog, or being a solitary young woman, which is Victorian speak for a lady who masturbates. Regardless, warts have been viewed as an affliction throughout history. Writings in ancient Greek, Roman, and Egyptian texts all make references to warts and their varying types, possible causes, and cures. But early 19th century scientists were the first to explore their contagious nature and possible medical cures. Warts are the second most common skin problem humans face. Acne is number one. Warts can occur anywhere on the skin, but commonly show up in hands, feet, faces, and the like. And if you think about what's causing them, that's kind of by design. It's easier to spread when you're on an extremity. Warts are caused by the human papilloma virus. That's right, HPV. HPV is usually the name given to a sexually transmitted infection because it's the same virus. But you're not getting genital warts on your face, trust me, it's a different thing. The human papilloma virus has over 100 different strains and only some of them cause warts on the genitals. The strain can determine which warts you'll have, but since everyone's immune system is different, some people won't get warts at all, even if they have the same strain. It's more common in kids and old people overall. There are six different types of wart. Common warts, Veruca vulgaris, are roundish, firm, and might look kind of like a cauliflower. They're usually on fingers or knees. Planter warts are white, flat, and form on the soles of feet. I had one of these. That was the day I learned that doctors can burn things off of you with dry ice. Ouch. Filiform warts, or Veruca filiformis, are slender and show up on the neck and face, eyelids and armpits. Periungal warts show up under the fingernails or toenails and are shaped like the nail that they're under. And mosaic and plain warts, Veruca plana, will form in clusters that are either flat or look like mosaic tiles on the face, hands, foot soles, and legs. Normally, warts will come and go. They're the result of HPV viruses trying to spread because it spreads by skin-to-skin -skin contact. Generally, you can't just catch warts casually, but it is possible. Wet or scraped skin will increase the chances of spreading the virus. You can also get it from really strange things like touching someone else's towel who has a wart, exercise equipment, or walking barefoot where someone with that virus has walked barefoot as well. If you have a wart, scratching, biting, shaving, or sucking on it can spread that virus around your body and also increase its spreading elsewhere, so don't do that. Because it's a virus, there is no cure. So once you have it, you just have it. But let's not fearmonger here. This virus is mostly nothing. Plus, though the virus isn't curable, the warts actually are. Remedies are available at most pharmacies, but if you're feeling ambitious, you can use dry ice or duct tape. Just look online for how, no joke. Wrapping a wart in duct tape for six days and then pumicing it will remove a wart. It's weird, but it works. In the end, the HPV virus that causes warts probably already exists inside of you. 6.2 million new HPV cases are reported every year, according to the CDC, and by age 50, 80% of women will definitely have it. It's real, real common. Vaccines exist to stop the dangerous HPV strains, so go get a vaccine if you are worried and you'll be all safe and stuff. Thanks again, Caitlin Willis-Payne, for asking your question, and make sure that you ask us your science questions. You can find us over on Twitter or Facebook, pretty easy. We do this every week on Monday. But what do you think about warts? Do they creep you out? Do you like them? Do you have one? Tell us about it down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe for more videos every day, and thank you for watching D News.